from Hill Family Homestead. I thought I would do a really quick video today and just give you some pointers on how to create the farmhouse look in your house. So first thing would be white, lots of white, or as much white as you can incorporate. I do like color and I do like contrast, um, but white is a very, it's, it's light, it's cheerful, um, and it creates a sense of um, space. Sorry, my baby is playing with the milk bucket. Um, so it creates a sense of space. One of the things that um, they did in our house was put frames around the mirrors, which I really liked, but the frames were not the color that I would want, and that was just what they had, um, and I was appreciative that they were gonna do that because it was kind of above what we wanted so but I decided to paint them and I feel like it makes the bathrooms just look more open and I like the look of the white against the gray so here's a look at that and I just painted these with chalk paint which is the most wonderful paint in the world I had heard people talk about chalk paint and how amazing it was and I didn't entirely believe them but it really is awesome. Now you don't have to go overboard to create a farmhouse look. Sometimes it's just in the little things. I replaced the covers to our island lights and I think they look much more farmy now. Here they are. They already had or I had already put in the antique um, LED bulbs and just replacing the you know glass uh, bell that it came with with these wire ones I think made it look just a lot more farmy and it's just a little thing it wasn't that expensive but um, I think it makes a big difference I also really like our grow sign here it's in I don't know if you can see very well with the light there we go it's um, that galvanized metal and it has some um, waves in it which um, just gives it a real farmy look and I got these letters uh, from Hobby Lobby if you want to know. So just little little details like that that give it a nice little farmhouse look. I also painted this desk white or actually a friend of mine, very very sweet friend of mine painted it for me and I got these baskets from TJ Maxx and I feel like it kind of turned it into a farmy desk. Um, it also gives that illusion of more space because it was black before. Hey baby. Um, and just felt more imposing even though it's, you know, not that big of a desk. The littlest things make the biggest impacts and something that I wanted to do for a while was dress up the back wall of our family room. I really liked the collage that I put there. I um, liked having our piano, uh, but something was missing and I wanted to brighten up the space. I wanted to um, just make it more happy to look at. And so I think I, I did that. I'm pretty happy with it now and it really was not that difficult. Well, first I'll, I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like before, which, you know, it wasn't bad, but it was just kind of, eh. So, and now here's the after. So first thing I did was I painted the piano, again with chalk paint. Now I'll turn this lamp off. Um, and just put a clear wax on it. I loved how it turned out. It was super easy to use um, and it just brightened up the space. I didn't particularly like the color of the wood that it was before. It was just a dark orangey color and it didn't really go with anything else in our house, but I love this light blue. Uh, it's just cheerful. It's happy. I love it. And then what I did for the walls was um, I I created these lighter stripes. So I, all I did was I took the the original wall color 
and I mixed some white into it. And then it created the lighter gray color. Um, and then I just, you know, taped it off and, and made this striped feature wall. It was really easy to do. And um, the reason why I didn't just go with straight white was to give it a softer um, look. So, which I feel like it did that. So there you have it. I hope I gave you a few good ideas of how to make little changes in your house, make it more farmy, homey, brighter, happier, whatever you're going for. And we'll see you next time. Bye.